What's going on YouTube? Clay Kizol back again with another Final Fantasy Brave Exvius news video and today is the day all of you guys out there wanting the ultimate waifu unit. They are here. We get two double paired of our waifus in FFB if that's your thing and they're really powerful. Let's get into it. Alright guys, getting into the news that came out this week, we have Summer Fina and Lid. That means Fina and Lid together in one unit. If you guys didn't know about these units, super fan service, but also very, very powerful. Along with coming, uh, and as you can see, yeah, there's going to be an actual CG uh, animation with them playing on the beach, if you're into that sort of thing. And then we have Summer Folka and Citra, which are going to be together and then also do, uh, do a little bit of dancing. I do believe like Dark Fina is there too. And it's just showing us that we can use the LB, um, the whole LB uh, quest thing where we can view the LB and, you know, get some tickets and things like that, which are great. But more importantly, how strong are these units? Guys, these units are going to be amazing. Uh, I'm going to go over a brief description on both of them right now, why you maybe should be thinking about spending some lapis on them. Uh, and then we'll go more in depth when the banner comes out. Because these two units are some of the top units in JP, especially Summer Fina and Lid right now. And if you scroll on down, they're getting global upgrades. Now, that we don't know what that means. Uh, it's, it could be like 10% more HP or something, whatever. It doesn't matter. These units, I don't, I cannot believe they're getting global upgrades. They were already pow so powerful beforehand. It's kind of insane they're coming with global upgrades. Uh, if we look, we do have a step up summon limited to four player, uh, four, four per player, excuse me. Only four players in FFBE can get this. Um, and we're going to have to go through 5, 10, 15, 20, 25k to get all the way through it. Uh, we get the summon coins coming back at us. We get the uh, guaranteed five star, you know, I think it's 30% on this banner. You know, it switches from 20% to 30%. We get a guaranteed rainbow, and it's 30% chance of being on banner. And at the end, you get one of the two units. Uh, one thing I do want to discuss right now before we go any further is that when this unit, these units came out in JP, they weren't together on a banner. And also, JP got a nice, cool little, like, summer bundle for Lapis. I think it was 8K Lapis. Again, c comment down below if I get this wrong. I don't play JP. Uh, but I do know it was a certain amount of lapis. I do believe it was around 8K. And you actually just got a Summer Fina and Lid in the in the package, like in the bundle. So along with other stuff. So it doesn't look like we're getting that. They haven't stated that anywhere. Instead, they're giving us a step up and they're smashing these two units together. Obviously, I prefer the other route where it's a, you know, they're not smashed together and uh, it's not, you know, off banners. You don't have to go 25K through a step up. You can just spend 8K and get one of them and then maybe use your UOC on the other. But hey, maybe bundles will come out. I think there's about a 1% chance that's going to happen, but who knows? We probably have more of a chance of them coming out with the, uh, you know, pay 75 bucks or whatever it was for one of them with those tickets, you know what I mean? So, looking at Summer, Fina, and Lid, or FID, if you would like, uh, going to be a great debuffer support unit. I'm talking top tier, breaker uh, support unit. You guys are going to have everything you want in this, including imbuing, elemental resist up, MP regeneration, AOE re-raise, and giant breaks. 74% breaks you can keep up a long time. Uh, and the ability to imbue everyone with water. Now, we are dealing with summer units, and we are dealing with the beach, so they are going to be based around water quite a bit. But they do have other options and other ways that they can help you guys in battle, uh, along with imperiling all kinds of good stuff. So if we look at the Super Trust for Mastery Reward. It is Beach Girls. Boost Defense and Spirit by 50%. It's pretty high stat right there to be buffing two of your main stats by 50%. Lightning Water and Light Resist by 60%, which is also very high. A, a phenomenal STMR, in my opinion. Very versatile. You can pretty much go on any one that you want. Um, and covers three elements, uh, lightning, water, and light, um, when you would need those elements to resist, which we will need in the future. Plus, bolstering your uh, defensive capabilities. Trust Master Reward is that <laughs> Mog Beach Ball that, uh, that Fina seems to be carrying here. MP50, Defense Spirit, plus three. MP and Spirit, 30%. It's not the best thing in the world that I've seen. Um... How, it, but it's also not the worst, obviously. It, it's nothing too terrible. Uh, but with the, the, the amount of MP regeneration we have nowadays, just slapping this on somebody for the MP seems a little bit weird. So mostly, uh, it's okay, but nothing you need to be seeking this unit out. I have to have this TMR, at least not in my opinion. Uh, we can go over the featured abilities they do show here. Beach House Break, uh, once use every six turns. Restore HP and fill LB for all allies. This actually does a pretty uh, substantial amount of LB going up. And change effects of the beach attack, shaved ice, summer sun, and watermelon melon splitting next turn. So a lot of these names I'm not familiar with, obviously, because I've only looked at the Japanese uh, version of these characters. Summer fun, reduce magic and lightning and water resist for one enemy. That's another thing about this unit. Literally, imperils, like, 
almost like just so many different elements okay not all of them but a lot of them uh on top of the fact that they also break high tier they imperil high tier they uh, can do supporting things that a lot of white mages can do high tier with the imbue the units actually busted it's a ton of units pushed together obviously you have and you can kind of feel that right if you have Fina, who is the white mage, MP regenerator, AOE re-rage, if, if you look at CG Fina, and then you have CG Lid maybe coming together with breaks and disablements and debuffs. Slap those two units together, you're going to have a high-powered, high-octane uh, unit that you're going to get your hands on. So if you haven't caught up on this yet, I do believe that Summer Fina and Lid is the choice of the banner, is the best unit on the banner, but the other one isn't such a uh, throwaway either. Uh, so we can reduce magic. I do believe if you use this after a certain one of her cooldown abilities, it is a 74% break. She also has ones for attack as well, as you can see here. And I do believe the imperil is like 100%. So guys, these numbers are going to be insane. Again, I don't want to comment too much on the numbers or too much on the unit itself, as they're going to get global upgrades. But what I can say, as long as they don't nerf anything or change anything before they come out from the Japanese version of the game, uh, this unit's going to be insane. It's going to be very profitable for you guys going into different trials. You guys are going to do great with them. And uh, Hal's probably losing his mind because he loves girls in bikinis. I'm just joking. I, he loves that unit, though. <laughs> Summer Folk and Citra uh, coming at you. This is going to be more of a... You know, kind of got a healing vibe to it, obviously, with the Folka. Um, and then the Citra brings in the summoning damage. And this is for the first time ever we're going to have a, a, in my opinion, a summoning unit. Besides, like, you know, drop kicking people with Leviathan. Um, where we're going to be able to feel the power of Evo magic. Feel the power of what a summoner should have been in FFB all along, okay? Looking at the Super Trust Master reward, we have Cool Beauty. Boost HP and MP about 50%. And Ice, Watcher, and Dark Resist by 60%. Again, Great Super Trust Master reward. Very versatile. Throw it on anybody you need to have Ice Water and Dark Resist. Even if you don't need that, HP and MP about 50%. Pretty darn good in its own way. Uh, looking on down at the Trust Master reward, it's going to be a Staff. Summer Parasol. Attack 15, Magic 58, Spirit 120, and Spirit 20%. Enable Heart of Passion. Fill Evocation Gauge every turn. This is actually a pretty unique and very strong uh, TMR, in my opinion, when we're looking to summon, when we're looking to be using um, our Evo Gauge maybe to do some damage, because, you know, some of the damage abilities are going to cost Evo Gauge, along with being able to summon, uh, mostly not to, like, kill things with the summons, maybe to do a finishing summon, or, most, or, or to do the missions, if that makes any sense. Um... We're going to go over what they, essentially, what changed about summoners when we got to um, Folka and Citra. They gave them chaining frames. They allowed them to be, most of their damage be based off their spirit stat, which we could build up pretty highly on Folka and Citra. Along with just making them overall better, making their modifiers higher on their evo damage, uh, their, their, their damage dealing they're going to be able to do. Um, just making an overall better unit. I mean, we are into the seven-star meta now, high-tier seven-star metas. You know, that's why these uh, units are coming out being much more stronger, power creeping a lot of our old, you know, Yuna, Ico, things like that, because, you know, they have to do that in a game like this. And uh, this is going to be one of your uh, grabs that you're going to want to pick up because they're going to be able to push through anything that's like, you can't deal magic damage, and I'm magic resist, and I'm physical resist. Like, Summer Folk and Citra don't give a shit. They just go through all of it and just tear up anything they want to get a hold on. Especially when the Blood Moon returns, it's going to be a very, very hard trial. This unit is looked and sought after to take that trial down due to that Evo magic damage, due to how strong they can be in their chaining capabilities. The other part of this unit is, you know, it has Folka built in. So they're going to have a lot of, like, the, the elemental resist, um, charm resist, uh, elements resist. Uh, sorry, uh, status element resist is what I'm talking about right here. Uh, charm resist, stop resist. <clears throat> this unit's going to help you guys. We need to bolster up and be a little bit better at uh, avoiding, um, you know, nasty status elements because you know that's what Folk is really good at that as well. Some MP regeneration along with dealing that summoner damage that we've been looking for for a long time. So that's going to be the banner. They don't even have any three or four star bases on it. So overall, would you, should you pull on this banner? Um, it, it, you're not, both of these units are, uh, very, very strong, very, very good. Even now in JP, they're very, very good with the global upgrades. I don't know what the heck they could do to them. I don't know why they're doing that because they're already amazing. Um, but Summer, Fina, and Lid are looked at as being the best breaker, the best, um, support unit together in the game for a long time to come. I know we have so many now, right? With Beowulf, Orin, Lauren, 2B, uh, we just had, uh, our boy King. 
come out. King Edgar, come out. But now Summer Athena and Litter here. And I can tell you, if you guys end up picking up that unit, you're not going to be disappointed. So I think it's a very good banner to be pulling on. I just hate they put them both on the same banner. So there's going to be off banner pulls. You're going to end up getting one that you maybe you don't you want the other one. All right, so moving on from the banner, looking at our new notices, we do have a few things in here. They talk about the exchange shop, which is going to be the summoner coin exchange shop, summon coin exchange shop. You get them from, uh, you know, doing the step up for this recent coming up banner. Uh, and then you can spend them just like before. You can only spend uh, those coins that you gain on that banner on their exchange shop, and then they disappear after a certain extent, so you can't save them up. That's very important. They go over uh, a new, like, guaranteed five-star ticket. You can get either Citra, uh, Citra Yuna, or Folka. Um, that's going to be up to you to decide. I personally am just st staying away from this. Uh, personally, and I, I kind of say others should too, but if you really need, I guess, Folka, Yuna, or Citra, maybe you can use it and see what you can get there. Um, this is showing that it is going to be 30% on that uh, step-up tickets where you need four of them. Do a full step-up, one more lap. You get a guaranteed rainbow, and it's 30% chance to be on banner uh, instead of 20%, so I guess that's kind of good. Uh, then they show the June 2019 login bonuses, and they show exchange coins. S login summer 2019. 300 600 and 600 so i'm not sure exactly what this is going to be going into this could just be like a little mog minister dude where you can trade in and this could be the start of what we could be getting because the anniversary should be the end of this month sadly i can't make it to the event they're having because i already had plans and booked a trip with my friends the exact same day somehow uh but you know, we uh, are looking forward to that, looking forward to hear about the anniversary. Uh, we don't get too many, uh, too much lapis here, but we do get some uh, rare summon tickets and some 5 plus ones, which will be fun to pull when we get them that day. Story continuing, so it's even more content for you guys to get after. And then last but not least, um, oh, I do want to speak on Madam's Manor before we continue. Madam's Manor always felt like, what's the point of this? It's there, we're fighting bosses. Well, the payoff has been shown in JP, and the payoff is pretty good. So you don't have to jump and do this, because it'll be a while before you really need to go in. And it, this isn't. This will always be in the game. And as I said, it's a side quest. But eventually, you do want to get it done, fight all the fights, uh, and get through all the different... Uh, the different levels because you will eventually get paid off big time for the lower levels uh, with some really good stuff. So that's something to look forward to. We are getting a new trial. It's not global exclusive like I was hoping, but it is a trial nonetheless. Uh, we're fighting uh, Orthros and uh, Ty Typhon again, or Typhoon. Uh, I think it's Typhon because they don't have doubles, double O's. Um, score of the Octopus and the Teacher, essentially, is what we're going to fight again. I do believe this trial should be much easier on us with the additions of Esther, Zeno. We have Axar already, and then if you guys have uh, Sabin. You're going to be able to go in there and fight with him. Um, you know, but still a little bit tough. But you really want this Stardust Rod. Attack 15, Magic 167. That's, that's, that's some good stats on a rod there that you get from, uh, from a trial. We also get uh, Magic Killers against Demons and Reapers. And certain damage uh, abilities are enhanced with having the rod on. So that's going to be a great... I think this is it's something most people will want to have. Enhance it in the item world and then just be super strong with your mage. The other, uh, you know, UOC is great. We are going to have to evoke three Espers, which means, like, maybe the one-shot, uh, you know, if there is a one-shot strategy or a quick-turn strategy, you're going to have to put that on the side and try to actually go through the mechanics if you want to evoke three times. Or possibly you just have a counter tank uh, and survive for the first turns and then use it. Possibly there. I don't really like to trust coins as a reward, but hey, some people might. So I'm really excited to get going into that. And then we also have our maintenance here happening on Wednesday. So uh, the unofficial uh, data will come out. Thursday, I should have like my unofficial showing you the global changes of the uh, two units coming out. Because they are supposed to be getting upgraded, like I said. And then on Friday, we'll have our banner review. That way, it's all official, already out. And we don't have to worry about the asterisk, hashtag, not official crap uh, anymore with that. That's how it should be going in the future for me when it comes to talking about Banner. So overall, pretty exciting week. We have story. We have a new um, Final Fantasy VI like little baby trial with King Mog. We have a new trial that goes in there that is actually should be pretty tough, uh, but made easier with our damage dealers. And we get two of the stronger units in the game. One of them being a top five unit, best support breaker for a long time to come, and then uh, another one being the best summoner we've had, and also very niche and good to have in your toolbox for fights where you're going to need that. So. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below which one you guys want to go after. And I think it's Fid and then Citra? C Silka? I don't know what the C Citra Folka name is. Let me know what that is. Like the the uh, the, the difference with them. Because I know Fid, Fina, and Lid is supposed to be Fid. But I can't remember the other one for some reason. And then subscribe for future content. We'll catch you guys in the next video.